so I'm really excited about this place. I'm just going to tell you quickly. A few years ago, we saw it on Time Team, and I was like, oh, that place looks so awesome. It's a castle in the woods up the top of a hill. But for years, I had no idea where the location was. And um, anyway, recently we found out where it is. You're not supposed to be there. There's not a direct public footpath to the castle, but um, hopefully we're going to sneak in and have a look. Largest single enclosure castle in the UK, apparently. So. Uh, yeah, it's it's a big one. All right, so we're getting close. Yeah, I think it's somewhere up the top of there. But like I say, there's no public footpaths actually directly to it, so uh, we're trying to be low key. There it is. We spy it. We're gonna have a closer look. Someone's chopping logs up there. Yeah, there's somebody. It says, well, it says forestry operations in all over there. Wow. But seeing that, the inside. Whispering, so I don't want to get kicked out. <laughs> Let's go in. Look at this, there's an arch here. Still got some pillar decoration on it. This is quite cool in the corner. Oh, it looks really nice. Looks nice with all the wildflowers down there. Ooh. It's part of the big wall. It's soaring. I can make a noise while it's soaring. It's massive. You can't even see all the walls because it goes right the way round. Things freaking huge. Would have been massive back in the day. Like I say, all the perimeter walls are still standing. It's just I don't know what was in the middle. Yeah, 12th century. This is. Like I say, you can't even see how big it is because all the walls are overgrown with yeah. But as far as the trees are back over there, that's, uh, that's how big it is So we've just come from that arch up there And this is the, uh, the curtain wall all the way around Right up there, so it goes right over to those trees right over there Massive rectangle Here's the other end just started to rain now. We could get kicked out at any moment, so. Right, so we're back up the other end where we started. This is uh, like an artist impression based on like the ruins of what the castle would have looked like. We came in at this point, which is the gatehouse. Um, obviously it looks a lot different now, but most of the walls, the surrounding walls are still there, but they're, like, they're covered in ivy, so it's, you know, we should get rid of all that ivy, but it's, uh, yeah, it's quite a Pretty cool magical place, place yeah. yeah. It's really nice. If you look at a map of the ruins, you'll see that this is where one of the gatehouse towers that we're stood in currently. Yes, yeah, so it had two. This is obviously one side, and then you've got the entrance to the castle, which is uh, the section we come in here. And then you've got the other one. We were just about to go have a look in. Oh. Don't know what's down there. Oh. A big hole. Yeah. Oh, it's a long way down. That is a long way. Oh, that really is. Yeah. You don't want to fall down there. It's about, no. <laughs> it's about 20 foot. We'll go around to the other side, see if we can have a look. We can look up, yeah. This is where that bloke was doing the forestry commission stuff, so we're, this might be the point where we're like, Oi, get out. Just spotted something. What are these holes are for? wonder if there's a room inside there because the uh, the grounds above, so you never know. It could 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 be a room inside here. There's a. What's there? I'll tell you what. Actually, I've got a torch with me. Hmm. I say, shit me up if a face popped up. <laughs> Even now, it's huge. Here we go, found the entrance. 
back. <laughs> this is darker. And this is that hole. This is a long way up. Look, that's what we stood on. Oh, right up there. That's <laughs> it. That's the stone bit. Right, we're going to leave here now because I think we're really pushing push a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah we <laughs> managed to get right round, yeah. <laughs> you have to beat your way through dense woodland up to the top of a hill to kind of get here and then, then you pick up like the uh, the forestry tracks, but uh, just definitely well worth it. Just, yeah, just be a bit, uh, you know, don't, if you've got screaming kids or right, don't, 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 barking dogs, don't bring them along because uh, you'll get kicked off. So if you've got any questions about any of the locations we've been to then check out this book the guide to wild whales is well worth a look yeah it's available on amazon it's been absolutely godsend it's been a bible to us for the last week so uh, yeah i'll link in the description for that